Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have a vlog where I catch you guys up on what I've been up to this month. And because the transitions of the video are just so random, I'm gonna be navigating through this video and catching you guys up. With that being said, let's get started on this video. I'm gonna roll the clip of me visiting Taegu. but she's not able to walk um, so I decided to just like get it for her on the way and I think I might also stop for some donuts because who doesn't love sweets so I'm gonna pick up my order I'm gonna get Krispy Kreme donuts and I'm gonna head over to my Harmony's house are about to fall off right now. I really want to go here but my arms can't handle so I'm gonna walk as fast as I can. later we're back in Seoul. I was actually only in Daegu for three days but honestly the three days was just so therapeutic. It was so nice to get away from the city for just a couple of days and it was peaceful, it was quiet. I was literally just home for the whole time um, besides just catching up with my harmony which was really nice as well. We always have so many things to talk about so every time I see her we just chat for hours but now we're back to Seoul. We have a summer episode of Beauty Chatty. Here's a short clip of me with the Beauty Chatty members and having a fun day with Laneige. First time ever where the whole metro is empty. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's 6 11 right now, and I am on my way to Hapjong Yok, Hapjong Station, uh, because our standby time is at 7 a.m. So I think I'll make it right on time, uh, considering there seems to be like some sort of delay going on. But I think I'm not running late though, so I'm good. We are here. So I'm not going to What color are your lights? Red shikar. Red shikar black. Black. Because I, I got no color for it. Oh. 
Filming with Laneige is always so fun. It's always like a whole day thing. Waking up early and getting there by 7 was a bit of a challenge, but we didn't have any difficulties, thank goodness. We started first filming in December and I honestly can't believe we're almost done. Um, in terms of filming, we have two more episodes left, so we're almost done. I'm so sad. Laneige or Mori Pacific, if you're watching this, your girl's available. <laughs> I always have so much fun with the beauty chatty members, um, Carson, Joelle, and Bam Bam. It's honestly so sad that it's almost coming to an end. But we still have two more episodes left, so I'm still super excited for those. Every time I film with Laneige, it's a whole day thing, so I always end up having to sleep in. But the next day I woke up and I was really hungry, so here's me making food at home. I have very basic ingredients at home right now. I need to go grocery shopping, but I was trying to think of something that I can make using these ingredients. So I decided to make curry. I already ate the other half, um, but I have the broccoli, the carrots, the curry. I've never tried tuna in curry, but I'm gonna try it. And this onion that's about to go bad, but I think I can just use half of this because I won't be needing the full onion anyway. So let's try it. feel like the biggest dummy right now so last week I was getting out of bed and I stepped on my glasses and the lens popped out and because I had metal frame glasses I think something like I don't know I just stepped on it so the lens wouldn't pop back in and this morning I was getting out of bed I stepped on my glasses my new glasses let me show you guys what happened so these are the glasses that I got. Love them. And look what happened to the leg. It's like completely distorted. I don't know, I tried to like twist it around, but I couldn't do it. I'm so upset. Like this was so expensive and the leg is just like completely broken. So I'm taking it back to the glasses store and I'm gonna see what they say. Like maybe I can just like save the lenses and get a new pair of glasses again, but I'm just really upset. I've had this for two days, two days and, and it's already broken. So I need to get like a table next to my bed where I don't leave my glasses on the floor or do something because this is ridiculous. Here is an update on my glasses. It's good as new. Fortunately, um, when I went to go get them checked out, he had a tool and he was just able to kind of twist it back into place and he said there wasn't like a crack or anything so I didn't have to really like get new glasses which would have been ridiculous because I had them for two days but it's all good. I finally developed a new habit where if I don't wear the glasses I put it back in the case and I don't have to worry about stepping on it and I always put it on a table so instead of just like wearing it to bed and then taking it off and just placing it next to the bed, now I just take off my glasses, put it on a table and then go to bed. So lesson learned, the glasses are safe. This is kind of a TMI, but I don't know if you can see here, but the lenses have like a slight yellow tint to it. And when I got these glasses, I had an option to get blue light blocking glasses, which is why the lenses are kind of 
yellowy. I'm not sure if you can see this on camera. Um, when I'm on my phone or like editing, um, I would literally have these glasses on and it doesn't tire out my eyes and honestly, best investment ever. If you guys use your phones or you wear your glasses to do work on the computer, I highly suggest blue light blocking glasses. They're so good. Anyways, I recently met up with my friends from home and I call them my church friends because I met them at church. These are really my special friends because growing up um, back home in the US during middle and high school, I didn't have any Korean friends. Koreans at my school were me, my twin brother, and one other guy named Justin. But besides us, there were no Koreans in our grade and almost like the entire school there were not that many koreans or asians in general at one point we started going to a korean church that was about over an hour away so driving back and forth would be two hours it was like a whole day thing because of the drive and then we would go to mass we have a lot of memories together and now we're grown up we graduated from college and we're all doing our separate things it's really cool that we get to meet up in korea even though it's not the whole like crew um it's cool that we were able to meet up so here's a clip of me hanging out with them say hi hi isabel hi oh, you're vlogging right now you're vlogging isabel Isabel. 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 Isabel came to visit Korea, so we reunited. I came to visit Korea also. She wants a citizen. I'm not. K-citizen. I'm not. He's about to enlist in the military. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Like, you have to look down. Like, okay. Look down? Mm -hmm. oh. And then now we look up and say fuck you back. Oh my god, no. That's it's not holy. <laughs> what? The smile? This smile. Do a cute smile. I think this one's cute. We have to do the finger heart. This one? I like my hair in that one. <laughs> this one? Or this one, I think. One of those two. I like the laughing one. It's cute. This one? Yeah. Oh, it's really... White it is. Minimalistic. Yay! Yeah. Yay! I love okay. using the clips. This is Mono Mansion, sir. Yeah. Yay! Oh, you're just gonna give us more! You're gonna come out! No. <laughs> now we're visiting Mopez Bike because Day recently got a custom bike. Mopez Bike is like one of the most popular, trending electric bikes in Korea right now. I believe the celebrity is that kind of started the trend was G Dragon. You know, you know, and Samdi, Simon Dominic. You can literally customize everything on the bike, starting from like the color of the wheels, like the rim, everything, the lights. Dave recently got an electric bike customized, so we went to Mopez Bikes to pick it up. So here's that. made it to this part of the video that means you have watched till the end thank you guys so much for watching i hope this vlog was enjoyable i know it was so random but i tried to make the transitions as less random as possible please let me know in the comments if there are any videos that you would like to watch i would love to hear you guys out again i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll be back with another video very very soon so make sure you like comment share and subscribe and i'll be back with a new video very soon thanks for watching guys Annyeong. bye guys